Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you guys. Sorry for the inconvenience because you already know that that I have a class before this one and I was having some technical issues with the computer. I don't know if it was the the internet. I'm not sure about that because here is it is raining. I don't know if, if it is raining at your home. But the rain is like uh, going to cause us like a little bit troubles with the with the connection. And I hope the other ones that had in the camera on. Okay, we are going to put the camera on, please. And Claudia, Olga, Elena, Carlos, Ingrid Ventura. I don't know what happened with the other ones, but uh, we are going to start right now due to the time that we have today. It's going to see the today class. Okay, guys, it's going to start right here. Okay, let's start right here. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, hello, welcome one more time to your English class, guys. Remember, guys, that we were talking yesterday about the two part verse. Remember that we were talking about take off, uh, put out, and uh, uh, some others that we were mentioning. You can tell me the other two part verse that we were using the the or we were talking about the last class. Clean off. Sorry. Clean off. Oh, clean off, clean off. Door on, door off. Door down, door up. Some others. Clean what are some? Up. Mm -hmm. What are some others that, that that we can use? Pick up. Pick up. Pick up. Hang up. Hang up. Right. Hang on. Are the other one that we can use? Okay, let's see. I think we have like a guys. What happened? I don't know what's going on. We just we only have eighteen, and with me we are eighteen. I don't know what happened with Ingrid, Silva, Elena Marisol, Olga, uh, Clarice. I don't Saul Enrique. I don't know why you have your camera, your camera off, but. I think you 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 need to have your camera on because or you are having technical problem with with, with the rain, right? If you're having problem due to the rain, guys, uh, let me know, right? If you were having some problem. Uh, okay, let's go to see the first image. Guys. Which part bear can we use with the first image in this case? Mm -hmm. We have a lot of dirty. Dirty what? Plates, cups. We have a lot of ditches, right? What power bear can, can two power bear can we use here? Clean the clean, dishes, clean the, di the dishes out now. No. no. Clean, clean up the dishes. Clean up the dishes. Clean up the dishes. Thank you. What about the second image? What we have here? We have two towers, and the towers are on the floor. What power bears can we use here? Using or referring to the towel. Clean up the towels. Can you pick up the towels? Or the other one that can we use? Can you hang and what? Hang out. Hang up the towels. The towel. Okay, thank you. What about the television? Put off the television. Turn on, turn on, 
this case, I think this is referring to the volume. Turn off. Turn oh. off. Turn off. Turn off. Tor turn the down. volume down, please. Turn down. Tor turn down the volume. Please. Okay. We can use that. We can use the another one. Turn on, turn off. Okay. That might be used here with the television. What about here? You were to the supermarket. You have all the groceries that you bring from the store. What can you say about this one? Can you take out? Clean up. Clean up. Put put up. Put up. We can use also put up because if you want to fix all the mess that you have here, the, the one that you bring from the from the grocery store or from the supermarket or whatever you want to call it. You, the majority of the time you put up the majority of the thing, right? You put it in the upper part, you put it in the upper part of the fridge. That's why we're going to use a uh, put up. What about our best friend? Here we have a puppy, a white puppy. These white puppies look like, like mine. Yeah, I don't know which they have the, this little one. And what we have here, we have a puppy. We have a puppy or a, or a little dog. And uh, which superbird can we use here with the puppy? What wants the puppy do? The puppy, what wants, wants he wants to do? He wants to... Can you take? Take out. Take out what? The puppy. The puppy or the dog? The puppy. Okay. Thank you. Let's go to move to our next. Oh, I'm going to see. Oh, Ingrid said he has fallen. And also Miguel. Okay. Teacher. Okay, yeah, tell me. As seeing the message of all my well, how my classmates um me too I have very uh, hard problems to enter to the to the meeting because um the the link they we gave to me to enter to the reunion and doesn't work. Doesn't work. Ah, uh, you yeah, Astrid, you were the one that were having some problem with the with the code that the institution gave us. Yes. Uh okay. Uh, I don't, have don't... to to um unload a lot of um update uh, you... of to make I to make I'm pure to it... to let me get into the, the reunion. Oh you 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 need to download a new one. Uh, a, a new code. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we, uh, the technical section maybe they they can help you with. They can help you with that. And uh, in that case, because I think that problem it is happening due to the rain, or maybe the computers are having some problem with the software. But the technical area of the institution always is available for all of you, and they can help you in those cases, but it is good that you let us know. I appreciate that. Okay, let's okay, go. In. Thank you. Thank you, Astrid. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go to see here. We we got all this. Um, okay, guys, we have a conversation between George, Stephanie, and you know, the two of them. <laughs> I think they are neighbors. And listen and practice. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, George Rivera. I live next door. Oh, hi, I'm Stephanie Lee. Oh, she's from Korea. So you just move in. Do you need anything? Not right now, but thanks. Well, let me know if you do. Um, by the way, would you mind turning your stereo down? If you see, guy, if you see turning your stereo down. In other words, turn down the volume. 
The walls are really thin. So the sun goes right through to my apartment. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that I make sure to keep the volume down. Oh, by the way, is there a good Italian restaurant in the neighborhood? Yeah, there's great one a couple of blocks from here. Try their lasagna. It's delicious. Okay, guys, I would like to participate for in order to practice this little conversation that we have here for today. Okay, who wants to help me? Let me see. The one who didn't participate yesterday. Saul Enrique. Hello, Saul. How are you? Uh, I can hear you, Saul. Saul, I can I can hear you. No le escucho. Liliana Dolores. Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. Saul, okay, I, I can hear you. Saul, you are going to be yours. Uh, Liliana, uh, Liliana, you are going to be uh, Stephanie. Okay. 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 Thank you. Let's go to start the count of three. One, two, three. Let's go. Hi, I am your new neighbor, George Rivera. I Joshua. live next door. Uh -huh. Oh, hi. I am Stephanie Lee. So you just moved in. Uh, do you need anything? No, right now. Uh, but thanks. Uh -huh. Well, let me know if you do. Um, by the way, would you mean to, uh, turning your stereo down? Uh, the walls are really thin, so the sun goes right through to my apartment. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that I'll make sure to keep the volume down. Oh, by the way, is there a good Italian restaurant in the neighborhood? Yeah, there is a great one, a couple of uh, blocks from here. Try their lasagna, it's delicious. Okay, thank you. Thank You're you, welcome. thank you, thank you. Liliana Dolores. Hello, Liliana. Are you listening? Hello. Hello, Liliana. You're going to be Stephanie. We're going to look for another one that wants to help us. Let's see. Oh, just we have we have here Carlos. Hello, Carlos. How are you, Carlos? Hello, teacher. Carlos. Uh, I'm fine. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Carlos, you're going to be yours. Help us with okay. the dialogue. Okay, let's go to start at the count of three. One, two, and three. Let's go. Hi, in your, in your name, neighbor, I'm, George I'm, Rivera. I'm your Hi. new neighbor. Okay. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, George mm -hmm. Rivera. I live next door. Uh, Lily? Sí. Oh, hi. I am Stephanie Lee. So, you just moved in. Do you need anything? Not right now, but thanks. Well, let me know if you do. Mm, by the way, would, would you mean turning your stereo down? Would you mind? The wall... Okay. Well, would you mind turning? Your stereo down. Mm -hmm. the, the walls are really thin, mm -hmm. so the sound goes goes right through to my apartment. True, true. This one is true. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, right okay. through to my apartment. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't release that. Realize. I make real. I did realize that. 
Uh -huh. I make sure to keep the volume down. Oh, by the way, is there a good res Ital Italian restaurant in the neighborhood? Yeah, there's a great one a couple of blocks from from here. From here. He, from here, okay. okay. Try the lasagna, it's delicious. It's delicious, thank you, thank you, guys. Don't worry for the mistake, guys. Don't worry about that because we are we are learning. Okay, let's going to see who wants who raised Chrissia, you raised your hand, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, Chrissia, you're going to be yours in this case. We're going to select another participant. Who didn't participate yesterday? Uh, Rina Margarita Arana, did you participate yesterday? Rina Margarita? No, not teacher. Yesterday, okay. no. Okay, Rina. Today is going to be your first time. Let's do it. You're going to be Stephanie, okay? You were paying attention okay. to, to your classmate, right? Okay. Okay, let's continue. Let's start at the count of three. One, two, and three. Hi, I am I am your new neighbor, George mm -hmm. Rivera. I live next door. Okay. Oh, hi. I'm Stephanie Lee. Mm -hmm. So you just moved. Do you need anything? No, right now, but then. Well, let me know if you do. Um, by the way, would you mind turning your stereo down? The walls are really thin, so the sound goes goes right close to my apartment. Oh, oh my apartment. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that realize. I make realize that that. Uh -huh. that I'll make sure to keep the volume down. Volume. Or by the volume down. Mm -hmm. Volume down. Or by the way, is there a good Italian restaurant in the neighbor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there's a great one a couple of blocks from here. Try their lasagna, it's delicious. Mm, okay, thank you. Thank you for, for your participation, guys. We are going to move to our next slide. I don't know what happened with this machine. Okay, guys, let's go to move right here. We're going to see. No, we don't have nothing. He was referring to apologies. Apologies in Spanish. What it means in Spanish? Apologies. In Spanish means disculpas. Yes, yeah, so disculpa. Yeah, those are the apologies. Like the song that said that it, how how that song said, it's too late to apologize. Remember that song? It's too late. Yeah, okay, that that was a really good song. Yeah, I really enjoy to listen to that kind of music because I think those those rhythm they they have are like a, something relaxing. It make you feel like a more comfortable at home. Okay, guys, let's see. People apologize in different ways. For example, if someone complains about the noise from your stereo, you can apologize. You can apologize. And give an excuse. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that the song was loud. I admit a mistake. I forgot I left it at home. Make an offer. I turn it down right now make a promise i make sure to keep the volume down i make sure to keep the volume there how do you usually apologize in your country what do you usually do when you apologize guys what we usually do here in el salvador in order to apologize with a, a person or with somebody that we have an inconvenience on the street or maybe in, in your war, uh, I don't know, in which place, in whatever place you, you, you may have a, a problem, you need to apologize, apologize right? 
How do we do in, in, in Spanish? How we do? The most the most famous one. I didn't see you. The most famous one. I didn't see you. Oops, it wasn't a purpose. No fue a propósito. Those are like, uh, like, 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 the, like, like the most common in, in our country. But if you see, we have like a, a more, uh, like I say, more proper way to say uh, an apologies. Like, I'm sorry, I forgot, I turned it down because this is making an emphasis like uh, he's complaining about someone else that is having a very loud music in the house. Or what about in this case make a promise that you didn't make the promise and you say I made sure to keep the volume down because you didn't and you promised to did it to do it, sorry, but you didn't. And in those cases that's something that really might happen, right? Okay, and guys, uh, how many of you have used those or any other way to apologize but in English? Which other one that you can tell me? Which other one you can tell me? Beside this one that we have here. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, I'm sorry, my bad, or I'm sorry, I was late. Ah, okay. Sylvia Estelle, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, those might be taken into account. Okay, thank you, Sylvia. Uh, who else want to give their opinion? Who else, guys? Who wants? Who wants it, guys? Mm -hmm. Hello, guys. For example, when you are walking, I don't know, in the street, and you wanna uh, pass out of some person, you say, "Excuse me." Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, a person. Uh -huh. uh, when you find or uh, making uh, you have someone in front of you and this is this person is like uh, avoiding you to move or keep moving you said to that person excuse me uh, would you like to move or just you can use excuse me and the other person is quickly going to understand that you need the the he or she moves because he, he this one he or she is in, on the in your way right that's why in the united states just you say to the people excuse me and they quickly understand that they have to move or even you can use that in order to like when you want to answer something excuse me uh what is located the the mcdonald you can use it as a, as a question too, right? Because you are uh, requesting something. And that also applies, right? Even if we are not referring to the apologies. Thank you. Thank you, Street. Street Jamilet, right? Okay. Here we have a chapter type of apologize. And okay, give an excuse to admit a mistake, make an offer, make a promise. What kind of complaint? Complain. What it mean complain, guys? Mean? What it means in Spanish? The complain. Have you heard about this word, right? Queja, una queja. Una queja. This word, this word in the U.S. is used oof, a lot. A lot because there in the U.S. people complain for everything, even for a little bit noise. Yeah, I met a I met an old man in in I think this is was in this is located in Laurel in Maryland. This this man was very mad because if you even like um, drove or or move something and that maybe didn't touch their car or the or maybe a piece of grass or dust appear over his car, he gets really mad. He gets really mad. And he complains for everything, even if his parking lot was dirty, he complains for everything. 
That's why I remember that man, because he complained for everything, everything and everything. Even you get close to your door or the window, he complained. Yeah, he complained with, with the with the the owner of the apartments. I, I don't know what I think he was having like a some problem or mental problems, I think, but I I was not sure. I just remember that that man and that I remember him with for this war complain because he, he used to complain a lot okay and the number one what will be one possible or most common complaint a people making noise right people making noise what type of apology can can you use make a promise right make a promise that you are going to turn down the volume that might be one in order to uh, complain. What else? Uh, the case of parking in a not permitted area. What can you do in that case? Give an excuse. You tell to another person, oh, sorry, I park here because I couldn't find any other place and I need to do something quickly. That's why you give an excuse. What about a third one? What can you use a third one? I don't know who was, oh, uh, a three was mentioning the the one that you, when you said, excuse me, uh, yeah, a person complained because you you hit with them uh, unintentionally because you didn't add purpose and you admit a mistake and you apologize with that person saying I'm sorry in that way. Okay, guys, let's move to the other section. Let's go to see what we have in the other section. Oh, we have a lot right here. Request with modal and wool and might. Request with modal, wool and might. Wool and might. Remember, guys, those are modals. And what are modals? Modal help us in order to make like a more formal question or petition when you want to ask for something to another person, right? In this case, modal plus simple form of the verb. What is simple form of the verb? The basic form of the verb without any change. That is simple form of the verb. In this case, we have, can you turn the stereo down? Even if you see guys, we still using the two part verb here. We use turn down. We always, we are still using the two part verb, but in this case, we are mixing like with the models. In this case, we're using, can you turn the stereo down? We're using with another different structure. Could you leave the door open, please? Remember the question mark. Always with the model, if you see, we have something in common. Always you have at the beginning of the sentence, a model, you only have at the end of the of the sentence or the statement a question. How do we call this? Question what? Question. A question mark. A question mark. That's what we are going to remember, guys. Using modal, uh, the the model always goes at the beginning, and at the end of the statement or the sentence, we are going to use a question mark in order to make emphasis that we are uh, requesting something, right? Uh, could you leave the door open, please? Would you please keep the noise down? What about using wool? In this case, guys, we have would you mind? Would you mind is another model. But in this case, would you mind is one. One. You see, would you mind is completely one. And instead, what plus zero? In this case, what we're going to use? The bear that goes after the model here goes in the in the case with Jeru. What is a Jeru? What we have here? Who can help me with this? What is this? Is a bear in which form? Hmm? What we have here, guys? What we have here? This is a a what? It is a bear. A gerum, remember guys, a gerum is a bear with the ing 
four. ING four. Or in a good Spanish, EN. Okay. That's what we're going to keep in our mind. Always, always try to keep in mind that. The bear, when we are talking, we are referring to Jerome, is going to be the bear in ING four. In this case, using the modal wood, you're going to remember this key. After, would you mind the bear that you're going to use? It is going to be in ING. It's going to end ING. The bear is just only this store. Well, in this case, you're using Jerome. You're going to add ING. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind not closing the door, please? Would you mind keeping the noise down? Guys, I would like you to see if the two forms are the same or if you see a difference between both. What do you consider or what do you think about that? The two forms are the same or maybe there is a little difference between the two of the two of them. What do you think, guys? Una pequeña diferencia entre las dos estructuras, chicos. One may be a little different. In this one, this one is like a, the most common use. And this one is going to be used as a more, or as like a, in a politely way, like a, being polite or being more professional the moment to speak, right? This is like a, uses like a, informal and this is like a more formal in other words right okay due to time we're moving a little bit faster guys we'll match and request with the appropriate response and then compare with a partner and practice them more than one answer may be possible what this mean that you can use the uh, the difference that we have right here okay guys we have the number one could you lend me $20? Which one do you think might complete better? There is the answer for this one. Would, could you lend me $20? Mm -hmm. Letter B, uh, are you kidding? I am totally broke. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that might be one of the most, the most common here in Salvador. No, no. Te quebrado, yo te quebrado, sorry. <laughs> because if you lend money, that money never comes back to you. And that's why you don't have to to, to borrow money. <laughs> because uh, it's very difficult that that money returns back to you. Okay, we, we said letter D. What about the number two? Would you mind picking up a sandwich for me? To letter E. Letter E. Uh, I'm really um, um, but I'm busy. Okay, thank you. What about the number the the number three? Can you help me move into my new apartment tomorrow? Which letter might complete better this this statement? For sure, no problems. I'd be glad if. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad to. Okay. What about the number four? Would you mind not smoking here? Little E. See? Yeah. Light. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize this was the non smoking section. The non smoking section. Okay. Let's continue with number five. Would you please move your car? It's blocking my driveway. Hmm? Okay. Sorry, uh, I'll do it right away. Letter A. We're sorry. We e. talk more. Oh, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, move quickly. I, uh, sorry, I was confused. Which it's one we said? B. B, B, B. Yeah, sorry. I do it right now. I do it right now. Sorry. This won't be. Sorry, guy. I, I think I need some glasses right now. <laughs> okay. What about the number C? Oh, yeah. Let me yours. <laughs> Thank you. And what about the number six? Would you mind not talking so loud? What might be the possible answer right here? Hey. 
Hey, we're sorry. We're talk more quietly. More quietly. That might be. That might be our answer. Okay, let's see. We still having some time, guys. Let's move to our next slide. Okay. We are here. How good are you at apologize? Okay. Okay, guys. How good are you all apologize? You are good. You are so so. You are very bad. Uh, how do you consider apologizing? You are good or you are good apologizing with people or you don't? Or you are from the person that you always have the reason. And that's why someone else can tell you nothing because you get mad quickly. How do you consider, guys? Crisia, how do you consider? Crisia Mo Morena Melende, hello. Hello, Crisia. Hello, Crisia. How do you consider uh, that you, in this case, you are at apologizing? How do you consider yourself apologizing to the other ones? I'm bad. You are bad? Yes. Okay, do you consider you are bad? Okay, thank you. I really appreciate you. <laughs> you be honest. Okay, what about Silvia Esther? Hello, Silvia. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Silvia. Ah, why you are smiling a lot? <laughs> I think you are not good at apologizing, right? Or you are, or maybe you are, you are good. Uh, I am thinking right now the about the response, but it's still I, I think thinking. You're still thinking your your possible answer. I will help you a little bit. I will help you a little bit. Okay. In this case, well, if you do something on purpose, uh, uh, that means that you did it with an uh, intention. Uh, you apologize with the other with the other person, or you just keep it in that way. Like maybe you are walking uh, through the halls in the supermarket, and you hit not with an intention to another person you apologize with with him or her okay uh, an example and um, i'm sorry but i i don't have time for now but maybe tomorrow for this example yeah or maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow <laughs> yeah, that that might be that might be the case. Uh, and at any moment that we can make a mistake or we can do something without uh, any purpose. Uh, one typical example, I think this this happened the majority. Maybe you are in the in the bus, and at the moment you step up from your seat. You hit uh, another passenger, but you didn't at purpose, and you admit you you didn't see he was there, and you you didn't do that with a intention. You you did it unintentionally. In those cases, we apologize, right? Because we don't want to have problems, and in, in, in the post, somebody else hit us on our face and, and put us down. <laughs> with a big hit in, in our face, that might be a little bit difficult or hard to to affront. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, Christian. When you are in the on the bus, it uh, happened that uh, the people say, "Buy your car, buy your car." Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's the most that's the most common thing that the people used to say. In my yeah. in my case, I have uh, I have two cars and I have my motorcycle. But for my job, because I I work in the in the countryside, first uh, I use the the public bus, and then in when I ride to my place, I take my motorcycle and I move to my school. And when I come back from school, I left 
my motorcycle in a, in a friend of my home, the motorcycle, I, I, I left the motorcycle there and then I take back the bus to my home. And that's something what I do from Monday to Friday because the public transportation services where I work, it's very, very bad. And some people, when you are on the bus, they complain because your luggage is big because you may be hit without in, in any intention with the jacket. Uh, it's, people in public uh, transportation, uh, it's, it's very hard to deal with them. It's very hard because maybe you might have a car, but you don't use it the whole day because uh, you don't have a lot of money for spending in gas. In, in gas. Why? If you use your car the whole day, what are you going to say? You're never going to save money. The whole money that you are, you're going to spend it only in gas, 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 and the gas. Well, you you can not only spend on gas because you can you need to spend it as food in your supply at home. You have a lot of expenses, right? Okay, write a letter to a rich relative asking him to her to lend me some money, explain why you need it and when you will pay it back. Dear Uncle John, I'm planning to drive across the US by car when I graduate. Then only, the only problem is I can afford to buy a car. <laughs> That's the only problem, he can afford to buy a car. Would you mind lend me 4,000 to help me buy what I pay you back as soon as I get a job? Oh. This is a very rich, rich, uh, rich uncle, right? Because uh, you as a, as a niece or a nephew, if you ask for money to your uncle, that means that your uncle has a lot of money. And imagine four thousand dollars. He is asking for for lending four thousand dollars, and just for nothing, for planning a drive across the U.S. It's nothing, just are going to be a couple of miles crossing the whole US. That's going to be a little bit hard. Okay, guys, this is this part just going to read it for you because uh, we are lacking of time. Okay, we need to move quickly to the next section. This is a short reading that we have somewhere in the country. How is somewhere in my country different from young people from somewhere in the city? Before I came here, one child said, I thought swimming was running through an open fire hydrant. Here is a summer camp that only an hour from New York City. Bora wore away this camp and four other nearby are run by the fresh air found. Since 1877, the phone has helped poor children from New York City spend summer in the country. Each year, over 10,000 children aged 6 to 18 participate in the program. Some stay at the camp, others live with a host family. The phone pay for all expenses. The camps are for 8 to 15 years old. At camp, children can learn about the star, sea deer, and cows, and other animals, and go hiking. Oh, hiking. I really enjoy hiking. Fishing and, of course, swimming. The children are responsibly, no, responsibility by helping out with chores like making beds and waiting on table. They also learn a lot of from counselors who are often college students from around the United States and from other countries. I think this one have a little question, okay. Guys, what we are going to do here, if you want, you can take a picture with your cell phone to the image and keep it on your cell phone because we need to move to the to the next slide to respond to the following question. The, the, those questions are according to, to this article that we have here. Did you take a picture already? Tomaron Tomaron la fotito, ya? Yeah? Yes, sí, sí. Sí, sí. No ok. Bueno, subirlo. No, es que así me quedó lastimosamente que estaba bien grande. 
Okay, but it's no. Nah, I think you can see the 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 bottom side. It seems clearly. Okay, I think everybody takes a picture already. Let's move. Oh, we need. Okay, we're going to move to or five. Okay, guys, let's going to move to. To the last slide, I'm going to see here. Read the article, image your work for the fresh air phone and mother wants to send her child and calls to ask for information. How would you answer this question? Okay, guys, how would you answer this question? Here first, here we have the first one. Is the fresh air phone program new? No. 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 What about there the is, there is since uh, 1877. I don't know if that's correct. 1877. Let's see. Okay, let's move back. Uh -huh. Airphone. 1877. No. 1877. Okay. 1877. The Freire found program new? No, he, the program is old. It's, it's not new. The program is very old. Since, you see, 1977 is very old. It's all like me. I think that <laughs> we are close. <laughs> okay. What about the number two? Are the camps far from New York City? No. No. They are they are only just a one hour from New York City. They are close. Mm -hmm. They are from one hour, okay? Only an hour from New York City. That's it. That's it. Okay. What about the number three? What are some things children do at camp? They can learn about the stars, sea deers, and cows, and other animals, and go hiking, fishing, and of course, swimming. They can do a lot of activities. They can do a lot of activity. And what about, do you think that some, those guys on camps might work here in our country for your, for the kids? Like the, I think here the only thing that works is Boy Scout, right? The only thing that we have here in a sample is Boy Scout. We don't have summer summer camps, right? Um, or... There are a lot of summer camps, but uh, they uh, focus uh, more in, in children who have to do um, homework, like, I don't know, study math, English. Oh, yeah, those are like uh, right. st study, study camps or study programs. Uh, the... Yes. That, uh, that help to those guys that were having problems. They call a summer the... summer camp. Yeah, and but... in 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 this and uh, in this time when the kids finish their their studies, mm -hmm. so they go to this kind this um summer camps. I don't know where what are they also like a group of study. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think those those camps that like the one that applies or in this case of the in the lecture might apply here because they might be very interesting. Like uh, if you see nowadays, children just they only want to spend the whole time in front of their tablet, in front of the TV, in front of the table, and those kion camps uh, in in the open free, fresh air, or whatever you want to call it, uh, those might help to your kids in order to know a little bit more about the nature, how to, they can face to natural things that they can uh, find in any moment they, once they grow up, right? Because they uh, maybe there are some guys that they don't know how to do a knock, do you know what that means, right? Do a knock. 
hacer nudos. Right? Yeah. The, the, majority okay. of the, the majority of the young guys, they don't know how to do knocks. They don't know how to do knocks. Why? Because they only spend their time at home. They don't learn, uh, they don't learn nothing more about that. You know, they are focused on their subject, they're focused on, on math, in English, language, physics, and uh, chemic, uh, the the basic subject that like they the at, at a school, right? Yeah. It might be really interesting to learn uh, some other new thing beside the one that you learn at a school. That and might it, be. Teacher, and it's yeah. very funny because I, I say that because I was a scout. You were a scout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, in, in a scout, you have to do those kind of things. Do a knock, do, do a fighter. Uh, you you know how to start a fighter, you know yeah. how to you know how to swing first aid. And you uh, know how to camp in, in the how do you say bosque? I the forest. In the forest. The forest. You really mm -hmm. camp in the forest. Really, you really in the floor. You sleep in the floor. Oh yeah, yeah. You do camping. That's that's great. I just I think I just have done camping in my car. <laughs> Yeah, but I can call it camping. That is car camping. <laughs> that is Thanks. a new way. That is a new way of camping. Okay, guys, let's move a little bit fast. Okay, let's do the number four. That's the freight air fan on. That's the air phone run only summer camp. What about the number four? I think no, because uh, in the. In the article, say the the kids can go with a host family. No, he said the 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 majority of the time is in summer because they have spent summers. That's why they only can go in summer. Si solo funciona o si está abierto en el verano, and that is the truth because it is, it is only open on summer. Oh, yes. sorry, sorry. Yeah, spend summer in the country each year, blah, 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 because those camps only work on summer. During winter, no, because winter oh, are very, uh, winter are very hard in the U.S. I don't know if some of you have experienced that winter is, yeah, very hard. <laughs> okay, what, what about the number five? Can uh, seven years old go to camp? No, because the six to eight, eighteen only participate in the program, but but, but and for the can only participate for, for the, eight the, to fifteen. To fifteen years old. 15. Fifteen years old. Exactly. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Can a seven years old live with a host family? Yes, uh -huh. yes, because yes. the yes. Were all uh, six and uh, eighteen. Yeah, they can. Of course, they can. Okay. What about the number seven? What are some things children do with host families? Mm -hmm. They go to the picnics, pools, or beach. And mm -hmm. trips. Uh-huh. Pini for for a trip. What else? Pool. Uh-huh. Beach. Okay. Okay. Let's see the number A. Can a child who lives with a host family go back for a second year? Mm -hmm. huh? What about the number eight, guys? Can a child who lives with a whole family go back for a second year? Maybe. Let's go. 
Let's go into C. Helping shorts, making bed, also. Yeah, of course they can. Some stay at the grandmother live with the host family the fund pays for all expenses. But did it say if the kid can come back to another season? Ajá, eso es lo que estamos, eso es lo que estamos viendo, ¿verdad? They in the in the reading they never mention they they never mention they never mention that in the reading. They never mentioned that, right? The last part. The last part. Yes. Exactly the last line, maybe. Okay. They also learn a lot from counselors who often who are often college students from around the United States and from other countries. Yeah, like, like a street set. There, there. Here's they don't mention that they they can come back. And in the case of the summer camp, guys can on, can come back the whole years that their age permit, because once they are nineteen, they can go to the to the camps, because the ages are only between. And in the case of uh, Ishiro, the, the age are. The the A said A two. Oh, sorry, I confused. The age are between eight and fifteen years old. Once you once you are sixteen, you can go to the to the camp because it is only for A two fifteen years old children. Those are. Uh, you as an old guy, you as an old person, you can go. You just can go to to throw your your children. And you you need to come back. You you do your your summer camp with your friend alone <laughs> in in the mo in the mountain areas. In the mountain area, you you do your 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 summer camps. Now here here in Sabor, I think we are not getting accustomed to do those kind of things. Like I was mentioning to you, only like uh, I don't know who was mentioned that was Boy Scout. Oh, Diana mentioned that she was a Boy Scout, right? Diana, you you mentioned that, right? You were a Boy Scout. Yes, I was a Boy Scout. <laughs> who who else from the from the cow from the class uh, was a Boy Scout or participated? What is the question? I can hear you. Who else in the class? Was a boy scout or participate in something similar to that? Quién eh, fue? Bo... Uh -huh. okay. Quién fue boy scout or participó en algo similar? In my family, my sister. Oh, mm -hmm. your sister. But in your case, you you don't. Yes, I I did. You did. Oh, you did. Uh, Ingrid Ventura, how, how are you, Ingrid? I don't know if you're having uh, problems just because the one that said that we're having problem was uh, Miguel. Oh, English. Yeah, it's falling. Yeah. Miguel, Antonio, Elena, but Elena didn't say nothing. Okay. Let's move to. Oh, wait. Okay. Talk about this question. Give reason for your answer. If you were a child in New York City, would you rather go to camp or live with a host family? Would you go to a camp or live with a host family? What might be, how do you might answer this question, guy? If you were a child in New York City, would you rather go to a camp or live with a host family? Yes or no? Yes, of course. Of course, yeah, that might be a good experience or, or for you having you in the, in the summer, right? Being a summer camp. Even it is better if you have the the all expenses paid by some other person, right? <laughs> okay, let's move to the number two. Would you like to be a counselor at a fresh air phone camp? Would you like a counselor? A counselor, guys? 
Yes, maybe. Yeah, maybe that that would be interesting. Being a being a consular in in those places, I think that might be that might be interesting. I I consider that interesting. Uh, maybe a good experience. Let's move to our last question. How does fresh air farm benefit children, host family? How this one benefits the children? Or in other words, how this one helps to the children? Mm -hmm. Do you think that those summer camp or those farms, whatever you want to call it, really helps to improve uh, your children's skills? Yes or no? Do you think those camps help to those children to improve their skills? Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah, of course. Uh, of course, in this case, really help because not only in school you can learn things, you can also learn out outside at school. Okay, guys, let me check right here. Okay, guys, this is we have 20. What about the other ones? We are like uh 26. And uh, okay, guys, this is was everything for today class. And I apologize with you again because uh, as you know, I have a class before the one that I have with you. We all of you and making that change from the first class to the second class. I spent like a two or three a minute. I think today I spent like a four minute because I have some technical problems with my computer. Then my computer get got frozen. I don't know why. I think the 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 rain is like a, doing disasters in our houses. Okay, guys, thank you for your attention. Thank you for your participation and for being active during the class. And if you have any inconvenience, uh, you can text me or you can let me know whatever you, inconvenience you have before the classes. Or if you have a doubt, you can also ask me. Okay, guys, thank you for being connected today. Thank you, guys. Have a good night and take care. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Thank okay. you, teacher. Okay, good night, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care.